everyone. We are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews today. And we just got this clock. We got it off Amazon. Uh, it's just made in China on the top over here and on the front. It's a sunflower, yellow, small round is what it says. I'll measure it. Uh, can, can you see that? Yeah, there you go. So it goes like that. Um, so we already opened it uh, just to make sure it wasn't broken or anything. But these are the extra pieces that it does come with so you can stand it up. We're not going to be standing it up. So we're, I'm going to hang it, and then you guys can see what it looks like. So that's really garbage. Um, so anyway, so this is what it looks like. Open up the box. It comes like that. That's not good. No buenos. So yeah, that was laying out, I guess. I don't know if it was laying out for shipping, but I hope it goes back in, and it's still going to work. So we're going to test it out. I forgot the battery downstairs, but this is what it looks like. Uh, this, like I said, it, it probably feels like you know, a tiny bit heavier than this foam uh, paper, uh, you know, foam right here. Um, not sure how much it was, uh, so can't tell you that right now. Uh, but anyway, this is how you set it on the back. We're going to get the uh, battery. I'm not going to set it this second. And then we're going to hang it up, and we're going to see what it looks like on our yellow wall. We got yellow with a white ceiling wall, so we can see what it looks like and give you guys an idea uh, if it's going to work for you in your... Um house or apartment or you know, whatever you uh you have all right so it is counting so i guess it doesn't matter where this pin goes in it just works by a magnet uh i guess that quartz or whatever they call it that's in the clocks um that's pretty cool i think it's nice let's see if we can set it we, it's three o'clock see it should stop it should be three right there um, but instead it's, you know, it's three right here and I don't think you can move this. Oh, maybe you can. Oh, great. If you can, that's awesome. Then it works fine. I think I just moved it and hopefully it still works and I didn't break it. But I think if you just push it up, maybe it'll work. So, so we already have a nail. Uh, if you saw on the back, it has a, uh, hole kind of thing. And all you do is just hang it on. I'm going to probably have to, yep, I got to move mine around. That ain't going to work, but I'll figure it out. Not a big deal. That's what I do. So I'm going to figure it out because I'm going to have to put a screw, um, you know, somewhere lower than that over here, but that's not a big deal. Hello, everyone. We're back. I got it on working um, and uh, it's connected. Now, just uh, a helpful tip, a helpful, a helpful hint or tip or whatever you want to call it. Uh, for everyone, you might want to tilt it downward. I had to put in a long, uh, like a longer screw, and then this way I was able to pull the clock, the you know the twelve towards me and push the six in. Uh, you know, what I mean, it'll be I get like you still still should be able to see it with the size of those numbers. But I'm saying when you, usually for more comfortability, and I guess I'm just telling you like I noticed when I put it on straight, mine didn't look nice the 12 was not lit up properly by the light because it was pushed back so i didn't like so it didn't look like you could see the time properly on the top that's i'm just telling you about my situation maybe you have a different one you have a lot more lights than i do um and you'll have no problem but you see my light in the front but when that was pushed back the 12 was you know really dark uh so i tilted it forward and this way when you walk into the kitchen um you can see it, and that is about, you know, I mean, we have eight foot ceiling, so that's about seven and a half foot tall right there is about uh, what the clock is. And it, uh, we are, what, about, um, I would say uh, we're about six feet uh, from the clock right now, uh, just to let you know the size comparison. I, I have my lit tape measure here. Uh, it's about nine and a half inches. All right, so uh, that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. All right, everybody enjoy. Be safe. Bye-bye.